फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई वुड लाइक टू डील विद इज द पैराग्राफ इन द प्रेजिडेंट्स एड्रेस रिलेटिंग टू द प्रोग्रेस मेड इन आवर इकोनमी इन आवर एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर इन आवर इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर इन आवर फॉरन ट्रेड एट्सेट्रा सर यू आर प्लीज टू रीड आउट टू अस अ वेरी लार्ज लिस्ट ऑफ द अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ द कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट डेकेड एंड द इम्पोर्टेंट टारगेट्स विच हैव बीन अचीव्ड ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स ऑफ आवर प्लैंड इकोनमी यू ऑल्सो मैंशनड द क्वेश्चन ऑफ इनक्रीज इन फूड प्रोडक्शन इनक्रीज इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल कमोडिटीज एट्सेट्रा Fortunately, sir, here we have in our midst the ex deputy chairman of the planning commission, Sri V T Krishna Machari, who has addressed a number of meetings and seminars in New Delhi recently, drawing our attention to the weakness in our agricultural sector. if the press reports are correct in one seminar he mentioned that even if all the targets of the third five year plan are achieved still at the end of the third five year plan period we may be facing a serious situation regarding the supply of agricultural commodities he has also expressed the hope that we will be able to exceed the targets which have been fixed for the third five year plan i do not know whether his expectation of exceeding the targets will be fulfilled or not but it is quite clear that we have not been able to give sufficient attention to the development of the agricultural sector it has also been stated that development of the agricultural sector is one of the most difficult tasks tasks which have been found difficult both by democratic countries as well as by countries in which total planning is going on it is all the more reason therefore that we should pay more attention to the agricultural sector so that it may be possible for us to meet our requirements as and when they arise and the situation which he has foreseen at the end of the third five year plan may not materialize it is no use merely taking refuse behind some of the figures which have been compiled and narrating the progress which has already been achieved we are happy that some progress has been achieved but we are anxious that more progress should be there and for that purpose also certain definite steps will be taken in this connection i am also happy to hear what the defense minister said yesterday in one of his public meetings namely that the government of india is contemplating to create a setup in our villages wherein our panchayats will be functioning more or less on the lines of parliament unfortunately he did not elaborate that point further and the press has not thrown any more light on what that exactly means but if it means that the panchayats will be in charge of the resources that are available 
in the villages that they will be in a position to determine how best the productive efforts in the villages are to be directed and in what direction determine what targets are to be achieved and when the production is there and there is a surplus to be exchanged with other centers in the country that the panchayats will have their say in the matter on what terms this surplus will be exchanged with other centers in the country when i think a very valuable step forward in the direction of building our economy on a decentralized basis will have been taken we have always taken the view sir that if planning is to succeed in our country and if there is not going to be any regimentation of our productive activity and forces what is necessary is that the common man should have a voice in determining the economic policies and in formulating the economic plans of development and should have also his say in determining on what terms a village or a group or an industry should be working for the development of economy as a whole in other words some amount of competition some amount of bargaining power is to be generated in the lowest strata of our society and in the lowest rung of our economy so that with the help of that bargaining power under the overall influence and policy of the planning commission it may be possible for us to develop our economy in a manner which satisfies both the interests and the requirements of the nation as well as the aspirations of the people when people feel that they also have their say in the formulation of policies and programs and that such policies and programs are not something which is dictated from new delhi but are those which have been worked out by their own efforts and as a result of their own deliberations to that extent these plans are a part of their efforts in the development of their regions of their own crafts their own industries and their own skills stop